Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Apache Camel with REST producer. Okay, how we can develop the Apache Camel application as a REST producer. So in the last video, we discuss about how we can consume the REST right using Apache Camel. So what basically we done is that we develop a separate application, right? So we develop a separate REST producer Spring Boot application, normal Spring Boot application. Then from Apache Camel, so we added the dependency called HTTP. Then from that, using that, we are we can just consume that, right? So we we can now we and we we so we understood that we how to consume that REST API, right? So now my use case may be need to produce the REST APIs from my Apache Camel project itself. How can I produce that? Okay, so Apache Camel is producing, Apache Camel is giving lot of ways to do that actually. Okay, maybe you can, if you see there, couple of components they are supporting to produce the REST application. So you can use Camel REST, Netty, Jetty, and Platform, Servlet, and Underflow. These are all ways they are giving it out. Okay, so using that, you can easily do the Apache Camel producer application. Okay, so as of now, in this example, let me use camel servlet to produce that okay let's see that how we can use in our application okay let's see one sample okay let me go to our application okay let me command it out this stuffs okay so as of now we no need of this okay let me come it out let me create a new class to produce right so basically when we need to produce sorry let me create a new class called as here rest producer router okay so let me give route builder as well let me extends okay so okay let me inject as a component let me import okay so now we are ready with the class so this class i want to produce the rest response or it wants to produce the response when rest from http methods are calling this apis so how we can basically do it out okay so as a first step what i told we are going to use the camel servlet right so what we we need to mention that okay boss i am going to use the camel servlet to produce the rest apis just copy this just change instead of http just change to servlet okay this is enough okay now you your application is integrated with the servlet component okay so now our application camel application is in, in, in what is what we can say it was ready to integrate the it was ready to produce the rest apis okay so this is the first step you need to do as the add the adding the dependency okay so start the dependency we added okay that's fine then go to your class okay so here i need to mention couple of stuff okay as i need to produce that right so i am going to tell that okay rest configuration okay so this is the method you need to tell that i am going to use the component as Okay, what is the component you need to use? Servlet. Okay, you need to mention this so that your application is okay understood that okay this fellow is going to use my servlet component. Okay, so this is what you need to mention it. Once you mention in your configuration, you are ready now. Okay, now you can directly configure whatever you want. Now let me configure one rest. Okay, that should be uh, when people are hitting the URL as. Mm, what what we can say tech bus blocks okay when they are hitting this url okay as the get method okay so if they are getting hit method call one route from here what is the route you can mention any route so let me give the tech bus blocks okay so this is the two route so two route you can directly you can add the from route also here itself okay so this is the two route okay don't worry about it from route also here okay so when people are hitting hitting this request the get method with this url 
it will directly call this two method okay so this two route will have a simple let me give some simple transform so i mean simple message okay so let me transform a message okay transform a constant okay i can give whatever you want whatever you want okay welcome to tech bus blocks okay okay so now i done it only simple steps one is palm data xml configuration servlet okay then i am going to configure rest configuration servlet okay so this this will make sure that okay i am ready to observe the rest i am ready to produce the rest okay now after i give the rest when i am hitting this url it is it, it should print this value okay now let me go to my what is that uh, postman okay let, let me change this earlier one i am this is the last video we discuss this is don't worry about it apache camel consumer endpoint so this is don't worry i am closing this save changes i am going to create a new one okay okay so what is this okay let me give add the new request okay i am adding the new request it should example for the apache camel producer right so what is the url i need to hit it out basically tech bus blocks is my get api url right so let me go here and let me what is my apache camel router 8080 right it is running on the 8080 new request okay so it is running on the which port let's go and check that double check that okay before that let me start my application first okay you should have one com one route right yeah let's see that it is running on 8080 and techbus blocks is my router okay so this is a route rest route and this is what okay so 8080 so i'm going here giving us 8080 and i'm just giving the url whatever we configured okay i'm giving as a techbus blocks and i'm just hitting that rest api okay it is giving 404 why it is not able to go in this block why because so when you are configuring your rest actually what you need to basically what it will do internally it will create a servlet for this camel project okay so that servlet name okay it will treat as a camel by default okay so i'm just adding before my url i'm just adding a camel let me try to hit this now you can see that i can able to get the message what i give it here right hope you understood right what i'm trying to achieve here okay so this is what we can able to produce the rest messages as well okay so if if you this is what called apache camel integration with rest api using servlet make sure that we are using servlet we, it is providing lot of commands camel rest camel netty jetty and platform servlet under pro so we are we are we are using servlet okay so hope you understood right how to integrate apache camel with rest in the last video we discussed how to consume the rest apis in this video we discuss how to produce the rest api to produce the rest api we need to be using the dependency as servlet to consume the rest APIs we used in the last video, we used the differences HTTP. Okay. Hope you understood. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.